Welcome to another Keyshot 9 quick tip. Displacement is a very powerful tool. It allows you to transform the surface geometry of your object, taking your renders to the next level of detail and realism. I'm going to show you how to bring it to life with animation. For this quick tip, I'll be using a simple plane from the model library. The first thing you'll need to have ready is a video file or image sequence of the effect you'd like to use as a displacement map. I created a 4K animated cell pattern within After Effects for this example, as you can see here. You can download this file in the link below if you would like to use it for yourself. Double click your object to bring up the material tab and head into the material graph. Right click to add a displacement node from the geometry dropdown. Right click again, move down to texture and add a video map node. Once this is added, it will be represented in the animation timeline below. Double click on the video map node to open its properties. We will need to import our video by clicking the folder icon next to the frames dropdown. Navigate to the file's location and import. If you created a PNG or JPEG sequence, you can import those selected images, or if you have a video file already, that will work as well. Keyshot will automatically convert your video file into your choice of a PNG or JPEG sequence and place the images into your specified location. Once your frames are imported, make sure your video map is selected and hit C on the keyboard to preview the color of the video map in the real-time view. From there, you can adjust the location and scale to your liking. Hit C on the keyboard again to exit color preview mode. Connect the video map node to the displace node and the displace node to the geometry connector. Make any height adjustments needed within the displacement settings and execute the geometry to preview your results. You can also apply texture maps to this geometry for added customization. If you scrub on your timeline, you won't see any displacement movement. That's because you need to re-execute the geometry at each frame to keep your machine from bogging down. A quick way to preview your results is to use the animation preview feature located on the timeline here. And that's it. Thanks for watching this Keyshot 9 quick tip. Let us know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section below. And if you found this video useful, give it a like and share it with your friends.